G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Little Buttsmart. Little Buttsmart. The greatest channel on earth. My name is Isaac Butterfield. This is Little Dicky for at least another couple of weeks until our wedding on the 23rd of July. Hooray! What do I... Little Butts? What do I become? I think people still call me Little Dicky. I think you'll always be Little Dicky. That's nice. Yeah. I think that's nice. It's I'm nice. very excited to be a Butterfield. It's a nice... But... Oh, mate, I tell you what. Things are going to change when you become a Butterfield. You'll walk into shops. Oh! People will go... Hey, Dickhead. I fucking hate your husband. <laughs> but uh, no, very nice to be back, ladies and gentlemen. And check out the Mum and Dad Show, our podcast, every single Monday, available on Spotify and YouTube. Now, today's video, yeah. we have, I'm a 16-year-old mum of two. Think back to when you were 16. 16. Let it sink in. Let it sink in and go. Imagine having a baby at six. Oh, I would have lost mine. Where? I just would have lost it. I didn't, I couldn't find anything when I was 16. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I... Your room's a mess, your brain's fucked. Oh, my God. I couldn't imagine having a baby at 16. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are watching this that had babies at 16. Shout out to you guys. Let us know how you dealt with that. Is that like, do you get your parents involved? Is that the main You'd sort of way? you have to. But what if you didn't have that support network? Yeah. Like... Now, with her, I haven't even watched the video. Props to you. Yes. But... I think the issue I have with this mm. is that she's a mum of two. Yeah, it's not like she just let one... Pass the keeper. Yes. But, like, if you're a mum of two and 16 years old, which means you've had a baby, you were pregnant at 15, and probably earlier than that, which we'll find yeah. out in the video. But for fuck's sake, can somebody wrap a condom I around know. some people? For Christ's sake. I know, sake. I know. I know everyone talks about, listen, you need to wear a condom because of STDs, and yes, that's important. Mm. Pregnancy is how you should scare young men into wearing condoms. Mm. That is how you should do it. They if, should just fucking wear them. Women well, have to do enough. Oh, here we go. Just saying. Fair enough. The pill is fucked. Yeah. It fucks people. Wear a condom. Wear a dummy with dogs. Anyway, my point is. Girls are like that. That's it's fucking true. That's how you want to freak young dudes out. Yeah. Tell them, hey, do you want a baby? Yeah. No. Girls we'll should up. say that. If a guy ever says that and tries to pressure you, just be like, oh, I love that you want to have my baby. Yeah. He'll fucking tarp up. <laughs> just say, oh, I'm really fertile. It's oh, really quite dangerous. I'm really my fertile. My ovaries are so plump at the my moment. My God. I can f you want to touch them? Oh, my oh, God. I love that you want to be my baby daddy. Yes. Fucking do that. Say that and you'll terrify them. Anyway, let's check out this 16-year-old hey. disgrace. No, that's not true. My name is Ava. I am 16 years old and I'm a mother of two. The second time was the most traumatic thing in my life. I just sat and I bawled. Even when I was nine months pregnant, they told me to get abortions. It was so, so bad. Well, this brings up the abortion topic. Oh my God. I don't think you should be able to have an abortion at nine months. <laughs> I don't think you should. I don't think anyone does. I don't think you should. Well, this is what, in, in some parts of America, you can have an abortion up to nine months, which is fucking insane. Like adopt, adopt that baby, oh, please. Hundred percent. But as for like this, from what the six week period or the four week period, whatever it is, up to I think once the baby is viable outside the womb, fucking suck that fucker out of there. <laughs> but it's like, oh my god. Unless the baby is seriously ill, you should not have an abortion at nine months. I know it's my body and my choice, but at that point, adopt it out. I think that's fair to say, right? Oh, I don't even know what to say. That's fair to say. Come on. I, per I if it's yeah, I think if it's viable outside of the womb. Yeah, it's not great to <sighs> abortion's never a nice topic, but I I think it's uh, it's up to the female to decide. Your body, your choice. Unless it comes to unless we're talking about vaccines, of course. Take them. Then you got to. I know what I am, and I know that I give my all to these kids every single day. She a lesbian. No one's doubting she's not a good mother. Mm. But I don't think no. you're going to give your child the best life no. if you're 16 years old when you no. have them, or 15 years old. Like, look at her. She's a baby. I know. But she chose to keep them. Well, she Props. May, she may live in a part of America where... Texas. ...that they can't have abortions. Texas. Indiana. This is Jordan King Thomas. This is my son. He is 16 months old. I love him. He's my first love. Um, I'm glad you love him. Glad you love Didn't him. Didn't need to say That's that. Right. This is Avea Elise King, and she's my doll baby. These are my children. And doll baby. Doll baby. Does that what? I love them so much. The challenges I face day to day is really 
with schooling. Schooling is so hard to try to keep up with and trying to feel everything is normal when really it's not. Well, here's something. So these babies, right? She impresses me. Oh, no doubt. She's very impressive. Like, good on her. But what happens in 18 years' time? I feel for when she, Or not even 18 years' time. What mm -hmm. happens when she has to go back to work? Two years, she's going to be out of school. You know, she's going to be 18, out into the workforce. What does she do? She's missed the last two years of school. She's been busy with babies. So selfless that she did it, though. Oh, it's, it's good on her. Like, it's, I, I would not have been able to do that, so I'm just like... Pfft. Oh, I don't know how anyone can do that. It's an impossible task. The poor thing. I know. Well, this is what I'm saying. It's like... I know, I know. What, and this what, is what why... What future in jobs and things like that would she have? Th this is why... Maybe not. Maybe an employer would, you know... Maybe. I like to think. But this is... But she's missed all those other jobs too. Like, she's I missed know. out on a first... But this is why it's important to fucking tarp up. Tarp up, boys! That's the message of this video. Catch those jisms. And I know it's girls sometimes too. They're like, oh, please, you don't have to wear it. Fuck that. If she's saying don't wear it, put Red three on. Red flags, guys. Red flag. Normal when really it's not. Your life just Shoot. completely changes when you have kids Is young. she still with the daddy? I don't know. So, laugh my... So, she's getting comments, negative comments. There's so much hate that goes around on my YouTube, for my platform. It's... Well, that's just YouTube, mate. It's so much. How does she have time on YouTube when she's 16 with two babies and doing school? Say that. I'm too young to be mm -hmm. a good mom. That's not true. You're not, you're not too you young to be... You weren't balancing your son on the sink. It doesn't help. But you're not too young to not be a good mom. It's just you're not given... You're probably not going to be the greatest mom you could be, but I'm impressed that she kept it. But she had the right to get rid of it too. She's a YouTuber. Amazon wish list for Jordan. She's got an Amazon wish list. Um, my TikTok. It's a birth vlog. A I hate those. Birth vlog. <laughs> ah! I don't like birth vlog. I'm sorry. I don't want to watch your birth vlog. Say. Tammy Hembro put up one the other day and oh, I was nearly it's vomiting. Gross. It was so bad. She's got some weird photos too. Like all like. She's 17 oh, now. Look. Oh, she graduated, did she? I'm so glad, um, I, as I graduated from high school next Sunday, a year early at 16. What? How'd you do that? And so, good on you, love. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. People told me I'd never see a cap and gown. Here they are. Good fucking on oh. you, love. That's awesome. Uh, it's a oh. birthday. She's 17 now. Good fucking on you, mate. And it looks like the bubs are all growing up. I tell you what, though. She'll be living the best life when she's 30 and everyone's changing nappies and she'll just be like... Yeah, that's true. That's one way to look at it. I personally wouldn't. What about her? Um, no, I don't want to. I think it's crazy. Oh, so she had the second child at 15. <gasps> oh, my God. I want to have a look at her YouTube channel. In a moment, Todd's mom will her um, son's internet browsing. She's got 63,000 subs. Okay, wow. Uh, day in the life of a 14-year-old. Oh, she had the baby at 14. Wow. Is she still with the dad? I don't know. It I don't know. We need, like to, we need to keep watching, but... Oh, my God, dude. Wow. I'd love to know if they were planned or not. I don't know. Surely not. And that can completely be broken, and that's what I do. I don't think, like, an age matters. I think you can be a good mom if you're going to be a good mom. Okay. Uh-oh. So this is my mom. And she helps me so much with everything. This is my older sister, Taylor, and she's also a great help. So, oh, okay. So just the family sort of okay. does it all? Okay. Which, you know. I don't doubt they, I don't think they do all of it, but I no, think not, she's got a support network and, which makes it doable. Yeah. And Thank you know Christ. what? Cultures have been doing that forever. Yes. The grandmother, the, the mother. Everyone. Takes the, takes the village, babes. Takes the village. And the little man's cute. Child yeah. sister. This is Georgia, and this is my stepdad, Marcus. Where's the baby me daddy? so much, especially with Jordan. And um, this is Aurora, my four-year-old sister now. She's everywhere. She loves Jordan to death, though. <laughs> um, yay! Um, so do you remember when I first told you that I was pregnant with Jordan? Um, you did not. <laughs> Tell me. I noticed you stopped asking me for feminine products. Where's the dad? <laughs> Your breasts were way larger. And I was like, okay, something's <laughs> off. <laughs> I walked in, I handed you a pregnancy test, and I said, take this. Ah. Were you scared? Yeah, but I just, when I have bad things happen, like when I... Can I go back a little bit? <laughs> she goes, and this is a 16-year-old, so this is... 
She goes, oh, I noticed your breasts were way larger. Your breasts were way larger. Look at the smile on those stepdad's face. <laughs> I noticed <laughs> too. <laughs> I was scared, you being but I knew what it was. Allegedly. Allegedly. I was actually 13 years old when I had first gotten pregnant with Jordan. Oh, it's giving me anxiety. 13. Oh, oh fuck. No. I'm tired here. <laughs> like my period was gone, but I didn't really have any other symptoms. I kind of was a just pretty big one together. Though. I was nervous. Um, I had actually taken a Plan B pill, but I don't think I took it in the right amount of time, so it didn't work. God. What is or was your relationship with the father? I met him at a basketball game. It was his basketball game. I was head over heels for him. We were together for a long time, and we've been through a whole bunch together. We were super close, and I always care for him, but now we're we're kind of cut off. Which would probably happen for most people at that age. Does he see the kids? Hope so. I hope he sees the kids. I mean, look, he's there at the at the baby fucking shower and all yeah, that type that's of stuff. Easy. I was disappointed. I felt guilty. Like, I didn't do enough to protect her or watch her. I was angry. Fuck, what do you do, though, with kids? How do you stop them rooting at that age? I'll tell you how. You make them obese. That's what happened to me. Uh, there was no rooting. Oh. There was no rooting going on. You weren't obese. Well, there was no rooting. Thought I'm hungry. <laughs> the second time was the most traumatic thing in my life. I just sat and I bawled. I remember crying and crying and crying because I could do one. Jordan, I felt like, was it for me. When I just processed the whole thought of doing another and I felt like I wasn't going to be able to give enough love to Jordan, it was the most traumatic thing. I literally cried to my mom. I remember just screaming and crying because I did not know what to do. My YouTube channel, um, it's one of my favorite things just because I'm helping so many other girls. You wouldn't even believe how many other girls go through this. And it's so nice to feel like the big sister that can help other girls. I've had guys come to me like, hey, I just got my girlfriend. Okay, so she's doing well, good on her. Um, I wonder though how much uh, someone's religion plays into this because I, I wonder if their family, where are they in America? Can you remember? Some, uh... Somewhere. Somewhere, it doesn't matter. I imagine. I should remember. Oh, you should. I wonder if the family is quite religious. That would definitely play into it. And maybe they're like, hey, you can't, you know, you shouldn't wear condoms. Is, is that a religious thing, you shouldn't wear condoms? I hope not. I don't know. Or you shouldn't, you know, you can't be on the pill or whatever. Like, I'm very impressed with her. I, I don't know. Oh, no, I know, for sure. Good on her. Right. I thought we were going to come in here and just laugh so at this So did night. I. I thought it was going to be really funny, but I'm sort of just like, wow. But also, in saying that, if you're 15 years old, 14 years old or 13, do... Fucking not root without a condom on. I can't you leave there fucking... rooting anyway. Do not root, all right? Wait until you're married, which is why I can't wait for a fortnight's time. Hey! Oh! <laughs> that's not. That's going to go viral. No, I didn't mean that. That's... Oh, my God. That's your cervix. Ew! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! Bye! Bye. <laughs> this is the end of the video. I'm going to go pull my head in. Uh, have a good week. Uh, see you the mother. <laughs> Dixon, you got to wrap this video up. I've fucking done enough. So I'm yeah. hungry. I've had enough. I'm going to go get my eyelashes done. Bye-bye. <laughs>